All right, welcome in. Match day live from Torero Stadium following a win for San Diego. They take down Tacoma and they get all three points. Darren Smith is here. I'm Jordan Carruth. Corey Herzog is here as well, joining us after a win. Feels good to beat Tacoma, doesn't it? Yeah, we couldn't go 0-4 against them, so it was a big three points and in the standings, it was a good big, big three points. I'm sure there was some buildup for you guys as well, knowing the outcomes that you've had against yep. Tacoma already, yep. how important it was this week. So I'm sure there was a lot of talk of that oh, for during sure. the week. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This whole week was just obviously focused on Tacoma and how to beat them and all that. Um, I think I think we played decently well. That goal saved us in the first half, and then I think it, we just grinded out. We knew we needed three points, and we knew that we just needed to keep that shutout. And speaking of, this is now back to back. This mm -hmm. is four straight times for Austin Guerrero. Okay. This is yeah. Oh, this, this is yeah. This is now turning into a little bit of a thing here, yeah. where not only can you guys have you proven that you can put the ball in the net, but you also have proven that you can keep the ball out of the net too. For like sure. it's firing on a lot of different cylinders. Yeah, going in the playoffs, you want to keep shutouts. Obviously, that's how you're going to win games because playoffs, you're not going to have many chances. So if you can keep a zero on one end and hopefully get one, maybe like mm. today, could move you into the next round. Well, I mean. That's all well and good, but we're actually more focused on car washes, yeah. soap and shows and such. <laughs> yeah, mine's you a little know? dirty right now. <laughs> well, well Austin had your back yep. here today. We so. talked about it like early in the week. I was like, Austin, I'm going to need a car wash. And he thought, <laughs> I guess it's only when you win and we get a shutout? No. no oh, no. no, so there was one last Anytime week. Anytime there's a clean sheet, uh, okay, Soapy Joe's missed, missed hooks it. us up with the car yeah, washes. I get in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> the one in Oakland counted. Uh, yeah, I missed that one. I missed that one. Nil nil counts. Okay. You guys are into a stretch of the season. It's Towards the end of the year, yep. the games are kind of taking off rather quickly. How mm -hmm. do you feel the club's performing when now we're getting into the point where it matters most? Good. These next two games are huge on the on the road. I mean, if we can come away with, obviously you want to come away with six, but if we can come away with four points and all that, that would be good for us in the standings and for sure make our playoffs a lot easier than what we want coming down to the stretch. And that is something coming up for San Diego. You guys hit the road. Summer yeah. was very much at uh -huh. Torero Stadium, a lot of home matches. Yeah. It changes now going forward a little bit couple road matches you guys ready to hit the road it's, it's clearly yeah. a different situation yeah definitely we're going to be on the road to Oakland and then from Oakland we go straight to uh, Vegas no coming home in between so are you sure um, yeah are you yeah. positive yeah 100 percent okay my wife knows she's not very happy but <laughs> she, she's going east coast to Myrtle Beach so she, she'll be fine she'll be all right yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. tell us uh, getting set to play Oakland midweek what was it like last time Landon joined us post-match after the first one yeah I believe Jordan the word he used to describe the pitch there was Horrible? Yeah. Terrible? One of those. Awful. Yeah. Uh, it's different. Uh, obviously, it's different, but what can you take from that that'll. Yeah, you know, so supposedly, I guess we're playing on another field, yeah. not that one, so that's good because that field was. Well, You're not playing at Laney College on Wednesday? I, no, we're playing at a different. Like when we were there last time, we were told that we're playing at a different field, so. I don't know if they laid down that same field at another place. Oh, or wow. I don't know. But I think they had a conflict at a college game, so yeah. like Interesting. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't the Ariana Grande concert earlier in the day? I don't believe so. I don't believe that was the case. <laughs> no? Hey, I see Josh Yarrow hanging around here. Huh? I just wonder, tell us what it's been like being his teammate. He's one of the unsung heroes of this club. Oh, he's unbelievable. I mean, I don't understand why teams try to play him behind. I mean, he's the fastest player on the field. I don't know what they're thinking, trying to play a ball in behind. But, I mean, he's the reason we're getting shutouts and that. Him, Stoney, E, and obviously Austin and that. But he's a big part and main part of that. Yeah, very much so. Uh, are we chatting with Joshua Yarrow? Is he He's over here. I'd love to ask him. Good... I, what would you ask Josh Yarrow on a post? Do you want to interview him? I don't want to interview him. Okay. Uh, I don't know. You should ask him about how. I don't know. He throws up all the time. What? He throws up? Yeah, you have to ask him. It's weird. You get nervous? Like before like, no, a game? in trainings, during the game, at halftime. Is that an endurance thing? Well, he seems to be fit. Yeah, I don't know if he. He's like yeah. one of the strongest he dudes. He just throws on the up team. and then gets back on the field. I'm like. Wow. Houston Interesting. rallies? Yeah, yeah. Like I was asking him, what you have last night? Like a couple beers? He's like, no. I'm just, just literally in practice, I'll just run off the field, throw up, come back on. And he's ready to go. Yeah, he's ready to go. This All is right. going to be our icebreaker. Yeah. The first time we've ever met this guy, 100%. we're going to be like, tell us about 100%. your puking just make in sure, the middle of just every ask event. Him before, just be like, yeah. Corey's not yeah, helping you right Josh. now. He's you not helping the, you right now. <laughs> come come hang out with us. Come join yeah. Match Day Live. Man of the match. The growler is in hand. No, he knows. I, I'll drink it and then return it. Hang out with us a little bit. This is Darren Smith. Josh, I'm Jordan. Nice to see him. We do the post-match show. Yeah, have you met Corey? Yeah, what's up, bro? Do you know Corey Herzog? Uh, this guy and I, we've been fighting since, yeah, like... Yeah, he didn't like me in San Antonio. Uh, when we used to play against each other, it was, it was nasty. It's... That's right, you guys played against each other. Yeah, we didn't get along. 
No. no. You guys didn't yell at each other? And then I came in, I saw, I said, oh, crap, I got to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it taken for you guys to, you know, build a bridge between you? Or has it not happened yet? Oh, I mean, it wasn't anything bad. It was, no, it's you know, I mean, he's competitive, I'm competitive. It's when you put two guys like that together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the so positions, too. Yeah. You're defending. He's <laughs> yeah. trying to score. Right. That's what is training like with you two? Oh, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. He's not throwing up. Uh, yeah, no, that, that too. I told him about that. Oh, you did? Yeah. I thought it was a secret. Nah, not anymore. Not anymore. Now everyone now knows. Now somebody's going to help you. Who's, who's going to help me? I don't know. Somebody watches. Put this higher. It's your first Put time. it higher. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who's who's going to help me? I don't know. Somebody watching. So problem what's... With his stomach problem. Yeah, what's the deal? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I knew, I'd, I would have <laughs> figured something out by now. But no, nah, it's... It's all you good though. Shout out, so it's cool. It helps. Yeah. I did it. I did last week. Kept a shout out. I did it today. We kept a shout out. See? Maybe that's a new tradition. There you go. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> it does. Don't, I mean, don't change anything. <laughs> I don't know. If something is working, I mean, you gotta keep going like that. You yeah, know? I'm with you on that. Don't change it. Keep doing whatever you have to do. Yeah, whatever I mean, it takes for you to perform the way you perform this year, mm, keep doing that. I mean, it's tough on my body, but hey, it's for the team, right? It's for the. It's, it's for the team. It's team player. Yeah. Team player. Uh, yeah, you guys, we were talking about how you hit the road here coming up. Two matches, very important matches coming up after a big result here at home. How do you feel as we go into the final stretch of the season, approaching the playoffs? We're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Yeah. How do you guys, how do you feel the team is performing? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you've seen it over, over the past few games. It was, it was tough for us uh, in the beginning of the season. Um, new guys, um, first four games on the road, um, and I think we're still figuring things out. We are at a point where... We're comfortable with who, who we are. We know exactly who we are and, and what to do to win games. Um, I think the experiences that we've had in the past has helped helped us a lot as a as a team. And we're seeing the results now. Um, there are some games that you know, like today, obviously not ideal. Um, a lot of grinding, a lot of work from guys coming in um, from the bench and everyone that's playing, um, putting a lot of work. And it's, that's what it takes. That's what it takes. And I think we're slowly trying to figure out the balance between playing really well and winning. And I, I think we're striking the balance now. I'm really excited to see how this team uh, does, uh, when, and when playoff comes, uh, I'm sure we'll be ready to, to make a run. I'd love to know from both of you, since we have eight left, you know, what do you think it takes over the next eight now, going into the postseason? From experience, right, from guys who have been successful before, what's the key over the next eight now? Just to seal the deal, also head there in the, into yeah. the next level? I think I said it a couple games ago, we need to win eight of 12, I think I said uh -huh. that. I think now we're, what, three for four right now? So I think 100% win all our home games. I don't know how many we have, two or three. more, three. I think. Three. 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 So yeah. win those three and then two on the road and then two ties. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh -huh. And then a winner tie. Uh -huh. And then we get to host a, po a home game. Here yeah, at that's the main, too. yeah, get that second yeah. place. All right. I mean, we're chasing first, but it's a lot of points in a it couple is. games. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're yeah, 16 up Yeah. with a handful left. Yeah. That's Phoenix, right? But yeah. hosting a home. I mean, sure, I'm sure you, never know. you, you want to get it as the first goal, right? But yeah. then also hosting would be the second. Yeah, I mean, you never know what could happen in the first round of playoffs. Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. I've been on teams where we've won the league, lost first round, so you never know. Uh -huh. And that's just it. This is an unpredictable league, isn't it? Oh, it's 100%. tough. We can see teams sitting in a comfortable spot, but that doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. mean anything. For sure, definitely. Yeah, I've been on a team that we won the league with 10, 12 games left, and then we were the first, first team knocked out in playoffs in the first round. So, yeah, so anything could happen. Hopefully we can... Um, get that second spot, have the playoff game, and then hopefully it just rolls our way. Because uh, luck hasn't been ours on our side yet. Uh, we haven't had a PK the freaking whole year. Ever. Ever. Possible. This yeah. year. This Never. last year Club either. history. Oh, my God. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Got to change it. Yeah. We saved a couple. Might need one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll need one. need one. But yeah, I got to go find my daughter. Yeah, go right. do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> we have some chocolate. The chocolate milk's right there. All right. Good to see you, Corey. See, see you, buddy. See you, see you. There's not a question attached to this. I just want to let you know. We talk about how important you've been for this team for a variety of reasons. One of the main reasons is Grant Stoneman wasn't always available because of injury. You have been such a solid part of the back line and an important piece for San Diego. And uh, clearly the, the supporters appreciate you. Yeah. Match Day Live appreciates you as well. Thank you've you. been a very important piece for a team that has uh, very high goals yeah. for this season. So. Thank, no, you. thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, it's, it's been great um, when you have a fan base like this and we have an organization like this that allows you to be yourself um, and helps you along the way. I think it makes um, a huge difference. And I think the one thing that the coaches have done well is bringing guys that the way we play plays to um, their strengths. And that's huge because, again, you can be a really good player, but if you're in a team where you're not getting help, you're not going to see the results. And I think everyone on the team, to their credit, and I always tell my teammates, like, I cannot point to one guy and go, you go lazy. Like, everyone works their ass off every day in practice and games. Um, and 
when you keep doing that, it, add up, it adds up. It's going to get to a point where like games like this, where you just need, it's just, it just takes hard work and you got to do it. And because we have guys that can do it, we come out with a 1-0 win. And, and a, win, a win is a win. Uh, would we wanted, have wanted to win by two, three goals? Of course, but a win at this point is a win. And however it comes, you know, you take it. And again, credit to the team um, and to this organization for putting together not just good players, but good individuals as well. Good All stuff. Right. Well, 30, Josh. 31st minute. We're still. It still says Josh Arrow goal. 31st minute. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that happened. Last week I, I missed one. I, I don't know if you guys uh, saw that mm -hmm. against Oakland. And I remember the whole night I was like, oh, man, I could have won us the game. I could have won us the game. So I'm glad this happened today. Uh, happy that I got my goal, um, my first goal for the club. But most importantly, um, happy that the team got the win. The huge win. Like, huge this win. Is, this has us up um, down the line, and I'm glad we we're all able to do it together as a team. Yeah, Josh, we're very lucky to have you. Thank you very much for having me, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Here Thank you is. for joining us. Finally, like I, I feel know. like we talk about you every week, yeah. and now it's finally a pleasure yeah. to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. There he is, Joshua Yar. We're gonna take a time out when we come back. Landon Donovan will join Match Day Live. That's coming up next. Your summer starts here. With big savings on a new Toyota, you can go out and do all the things that make summer the best time of the year. But don't miss out on all the fun. See your Toyota dealer and catch a great deal today. Right now, drive home a stylish new Corolla with a low $199 a month lease. Or you can save big with $1,500 factory cash back. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. At Chosen Foods, we are inspired by the vibrant culinary lifestyle of the Baja Med and, of course, by avocados. From our flagship avocado oil to our family of dressings, mayos, simmer sauces, and guacamoles, the versatility of all Chosen Foods avocado-based products offer you the freedom to be both healthy and creative in the kitchen. Join us in the sun-drenched utopia of Chosen Foods. The avocado. Celebrate it. During this pandemic, many families are worried about Disney healthcare facilities. I'm Dr. Gail Knight, Rady Children's Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer. I'd like to share with you the advice that I give my own family and friends. The best thing that you can do to keep your child healthy is to continue to keep routine appointments like vaccinations and regular checkups. This keeps you, your child, and our community as protected as possible. We are always open, we are here for you, and we are safe. Time to get moving with the financial partner that's here for your journey. From small steps to big milestones, USE Credit Union is here for you. With tools to help you bank fast, solutions to help you go far, and a team of dream makers that's ready to help you step forward with confidence. USE Credit Union. It starts off with a little seed. And with a little love from nature, it sprouts to life. And when delicious fresh fruits and veggies are perfect, they are rushed to the home of fresh. Sprouts, where goodness grows.
the perfect pair of sunglasses for your every occasion? Hit up the Knockaround Custom Shop. With over a million possible combinations, why not get a pair for every you? 8 a.m., I need a coffee, you. Clocking a few miles, you. Game day, you. Happy camper, you. Fun in the sun, you. On the slopes, you. Dog days, you. Happy hour, you. Si se puede, you. The Knockaround Custom Shop. You design them. All right, Match Day Live rolls on from Torero Stadium. Darren Smith, Jordan Kruth, Landon Donovan is here. We're talking wardrobes and fashion. We're not, no questions about that. Uh, we'll, we'll dive into the win right away. What did today's win represent for your club? Against a team that yeah. you've struggled with again so far this year. Yeah, we've lost three times to them. Today was a grind. Um, unfortunately, the field's had a lot of use lately, so it's, uh, it's a little bouncy. And that makes the game a little bit difficult for us, but I thought the first half was excellent. I thought the way we uh, approached the game and then got the goal was really important, and the second half was just a grind. It wasn't pretty. We didn't play great, but that looks like a playoff game, basically, and I thought we were really good and resolute defensively, which is good, and you have to be at times. Not the most entertaining game, but I thought we did a good job. And speaking of defensively now, back-to-back -back clean sheets for Austin Guerrero, his fourth on the season, that's part of the equation too. When you talk about sure. getting ready for the postseason, everybody focuses on goals, right? right? But part of it also is goal prevention, and right now you guys are on a nice run with that. I, I was fortunate to lift a trophy a lot of times in my life, and the only reason you do is when you defend well. It's, it's just the reality. And so Austin, to be honest, didn't have a ton to do. Uh, when he did, he was great, but I thought the back line were fantastic. Charlie and Colin were great, and guys made plays when they needed to. We told them before the game, it's not going to be pretty, probably because of the field, but you got to compete and you got to make plays, and they did. They made them all over the field. And speaking of Austin being in net, as they're loving you from up on the bluff there. Thanks, Dad. But <laughs> every day, I mean, when you're filling out your starting 11, is it, it must be automatic. Elijah, Yarrow. Stoneman, sure. we know it right back. You know, Abara's in there today with Laraz getting knocked. But, I mean, those three guys have, have probably made your life pretty easy just how consistently they played. Yeah, and there's continuity now. There's, there's no substitute for just having continuity. The good news now is we have Frankie Facinari, uh fit and pushing them. We have Callum Montgomery back now fit and pushing them. So competition is good. They're great amongst each other. It, they all root for each other and they love getting clean sheets. So we have three games this week in six days. There's gonna be a lot of guys who can't play 90 minutes every game. So we need guys like Callum, like Frankie, who can come in and help us win too. It's gonna be important down in, uh, it's an important stretch for you guys and you're getting important players back. That's good news. We'll let everyone else ask the questions here as well. Match Day Live rolls on with Landon Donovan. Darren and I are going to step out. We just dip. And we're we just dip gonna out. feed you to the wolves. Good luck. See you guys. Thank you. Every time you face a team that you've played before, one or two things happen. You have had success and you continue, or you haven't had success and you have to make, an, uh, make adjustments. So we made a few really crucial adjustments that helped us um, stretch them. We hadn't stretched them, their back line, in the first three games, and we made the game a lot more difficult for them. Ultimately, it would have been better to score the second goal or maybe the third goal, but in the end, I thought all in all, it was a really good performance. Yeah, he doesn't fly under the, uh, the, under the radar with us. Um, he's been terrific all year. His first game of the season at Phoenix when he didn't really know us yet and he came in late into preseason, he had a bad game. He knows that. And since then, he's been excellent. His response to that day was excellent. And the way he's handled himself has been fantastic. So we're extremely happy with him. I'm happy he got the goal. He had a he had a great game. He was the man of the match, there's no question, and I'm really happy for him. Yeah, he was pretty good. He's played right back in Mexico, and we worked with him during the week to get comfortable, but he had a big role today. Defensively, he was a right back, and if you saw in the match, when we had the ball, he was pinned high on their left wing back. So. He had a big role, he had a lot of running, and he helped us make a lot of plays that mattered, and I thought he was great. 
Cool. Have a great weekend, guys. Great Sunday. Perfect pair of sunglasses for your every occasion? Hit up the Knockaround Custom Shop. With over a million possible combinations, why not get a pair for every you? 8 a.m. I need a coffee, you. Clocking a few miles, you. Game day, you. Happy camper, you. Fun in the sun, you. On the slopes, you. Dog days, you. Happy hour, you. Si se puede, you. The Knockaround Custom Shop. You design them, we build them. I'm not even sure what's happening here, and I know it's fast, but I'm in love with you. We're gonna be together for evs. And I'm gonna keep you looking good, boo. That's why I got you unlimited washes. That's right, we're gonna binge wash, babe. <laughs> Commit to your car. What are you waiting for? Match day live rolls on from Torero Stadium. San Diego get a win today, 1-0. They take down Tacoma. They add three points to themselves in the table, which is great news. San Diego really want to host a playoff game, and in order to do that, you need to finish in the top two in the Pacific and San Diego in a good spot with plenty of matches to go. I know we're approaching that final stretch, but there is still plenty of time to pick up points and also drop points. San Diego, they are in a good spot to continue this run and hopefully secure a home playoff game. And as Landon said, two more times this week at Oakland coming up on Wednesday night and then at Vegas next Saturday night. But Jordan, let's go back to what you and I talked about on Match Day Live, the pre-show, which was, yeah, it was important to pick up three points against Tacoma for obvious reasons, because you had no success against them here in 2021. The second part about it though, now you've got a little bit of room between Loyal and Tacoma on the table, even though Tacoma still has two matches in hand, a seven point gap between second, San Diego Loyal, and fourth, Tacoma. And now all of a sudden here you have Oakland, which is knocking on the door to a playoff spot as well. So this was important, not just for the psyche, not just as Landon said, figuring out a way to grind through another three points here at Torero Stadium, but also just to give yourself a little bit, just for a night, Give yourself a little bit of breathing room in the standings. Uh, it was very nice chatting it up with Joshua Yarrow. He was very good here. What a guy. What a, what a very well thought out gentleman. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, a very, very good guest. Good performance. We'll see if that goal stays with Yarrow. He's hoping it does. He was so excited for his first goal. And as mm. he was saying it, I'm like, please don't take it away. Yeah. Please don't take that away from him. They may. Um, We've seen that it, happen this it year. It could be an own goal coming. Corey, Corey lost one that way as well. Where he they did. ruled an own goal here, what happened not too far away from us. But yeah, I'm with you. I'd love to see it just because you, you'd like to say that Josh, you know, to be able to see him open up his account, Jordan, I think also is important just because you want the recognition. We know how well he's played. Landon told the reporters after we were done with our session, he said, hey, he's not flying under the radar with us. He might be flying under the radar for a lot of other people who are focused on goal scorers, who are full on assists, et cetera. He's not flying under the radar here with San Diego Loyal, and I'm sure not with the supporters as well. So from that standpoint, it'd be nice to see it, but I'm with you. Once you look at the replay, I'm not so sure the way that one's gonna go. Then again, I'm not an official scorer, so what do I know? Yeah, we will see what happens there. Uh, the latest with the pick to kick, not much change at all when it comes to the pick to kick standings. In fact, that's two matches in a row where we have no movement at all. Not because of a lack of goals tonight, but no one selected Yarrow, and that could change again with the own goal, but no one had Yarrow. I believe Charlie Adams had the assist. No one took Charlie Adams in our pick to kick, so absolutely no movement when it comes to those standings. No, none whatsoever, and I'm trying to find the exact thing, uh, exact way that everybody can go and pick up free car wash from Soapy Joe's. 
I'm mm. sort of scrambling looking through my email to see if I still have the copy for Soapy Joe's, but clean sheets mean car washes. So I'm sure you can find it on the SD Loyal website. I'm sure they'll put it out there on social media channels, but go get a free car wash. Yes. Austin Guerrero busted his tail for you to have a clean car. The least you can do is go do it. Yes, I believe all you do is show up to Soapy Joe's and say, give me a free car wash. <laughs> wash if, my car. And when they don't allow you to do it that way, then you should look up the tweet to see how you actually do it. Because yeah. that's, there's no way that's how you do it. There's just no way. No, but it's worth a shot. Try it, you never know. You might find somebody who's new on the job. Right. I don't recommend it, but tell right. us what happens. We're giving terrible advice on Match Day Live. Let's say goodnight. Let's just take the three points and go home with them, put them in the bank, and use them later at the end of the season because we will most likely need them. No doubt about that, Darren. Let's say goodbye to the yes, audience. Yes, I'm told, Come to, a little I'm bit told closer. to move closer to Jordan. We have no idea whose bottle of champagne We've got open is. beers. This appeared We've in the middle seltzers. of the match. We have not had any. We don't know whose it is. Not yet. But here it is. It's still cold if anyone would to like to show up to Torero and take a sip or two. And happy anniversary to Stone Brewing. Yeah. 25 years. Very good stuff. We had cake. We popped multiple bottles of champagne. The Buena Vista Social Club thanks you. Please don't sue us for copyright infringement. We asked on the air and we were told that would not happen. So we're allowed to use that in court. And All thank right. you to the SD Loyal staff that provided us with this amazing canopy. Yes, thank you Save for the, the cloud day. cover. Thank you. We do appreciate it. I didn't have to do the whole show like this. Yeah. Good night. Huh?